This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, and verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I'll give thee a crown of life. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Kwadash, Brak, Dum. To his aquanium, Wa'akim, Wa'akwafim. You know, you elders, you brothers, you sisters, the whole for elect. Out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. Giving diligence, make your calling, election sure, and of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And his beloved son, Hamashak Yahweh Shai. Right? This is Brother Pashai, Ban Yahshua Allah. This will be a quick lesson through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shai being the true name of his beloved son, our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Right? So this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And, th and we need those names, man. You know, the Lord bless us with those names. And we need those names for salvation and deliverance. We have to call upon those names. You know, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father. And that's the true name of his beloved Son, our Lord and Savior. And as is written in the scriptures, there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You see? So just a quick lesson going to the new order of the ages. You know, Esau coming down in great wrath. You know, because you know you got a short time. He's setting up these FEMA death camps, concentration camps, det det uh, detention centers, you know, uh, rehabilitation centers, you know, the red list, the blue list, the yellow list. But as is written, be not afraid, man. Neither doubt. That's in the book of Second Edit, sixteen chapter. You know, don't be afraid. Don't doubt, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he will guide us and protect us during these times. Now, the brother Yahweh from GMS Main Camp had a dream. You know, Esau was coming down with that great wrath. You know, with the military presence. You know, grabbing brothers up, grabbing the elders and apostles up. You know, and threatening to kill them and stuff like that. And um, Elder Apostle Gabar said something very beautiful inside the brother's dream. He said, "Our faith is in the Heavenly Father Yahweh." And his beloved son, Yahweh Shai. You see? So that's why we need those names, man. You know, it's all it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, Shai that we got this truth. You know, the Lord told us, don't be afraid. We have nothing to fear. You see? So I'm going to go into a couple things today in this lesson. And I pray it's edifying. I pray it's a faith builder to the hopeful elect. You brothers out there, you few sisters. You see? So the new order of the ages, man. Which on the back of your dollar bill? You know, they got the term um, novus auto sacrum which means a new order of the ages, you see? So it is going to, of course, Esau, the elites on down, their plans of world domination, you see? The secret societies, you know, wanting to rule everything, you know, the Illuminati, you see? Skull and Bones, you know, the Bohemian Grove, a whole bunch of wicked ass secret societies Esau got going on, you know? So it's on the back of the dollar bill to all seeing eye, their plans of world domination. Now, when Esau come down with this great wrath, because he know he got a short time, he know his kingdom is through, man. You see? He see the brothers waking up, you know, so he want to hurry up and try to establish the NWO. And he, he, he ultimately, he has great wrath. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get another preset before I read these articles. Uh, we're going to get Revelation, the 17th chapter, and verse, no, 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 no. This is the, it's the 12th chapter, Salaki. Revelation, the 12th chapter. And verse 17, and the dragon, which we know is the Roman Empire, was revised, you know, into the um, Renaissance era on down to near the EU today. And America is that beast that rise up. You no, know, America is that great horde that rise upon the beast. Salakia, right? So, and the dragon was wroth with the woman, the woman being who? Israel. As is written in the scriptures, I have likened, I have likened Jerusalem, the, um, Israel, unto a calmly delicate woman, you know? And the dragon was wroth with the woman. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Who's that remnant? The elect of the nation of Israel. So Esau about to come down great wrath upon the elect. He see us waking up. You know, Lord willing, I'm, I'm, I'm a part of that number of the elect. You brothers listening, if you sisters, you know, start with the elders and the apostles on down. Lord willing, we're part of that number of the elect. We're hopeful that we're part of that number. And Esau see us waking up. Esau see us teaching, preaching, and prophesying his downfall. You know, so he's mad, man. He's upset. He's also afraid. You know, he don't want to lose his power seat. You know, he don't want to go into captivity, man. He don't want to get destroyed, you know, by Yahweh Shah and Allah Hayim, you know? So he about to make war against the remnant, man. You know, it says, well, if you're from the top, Revelation 12 and 17, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know? So 
to set up Esau, Esau to set up his NWO, he, he got to make war with the Saints because we're the main threat, you know, to his NWO, man. You know, that's why he has FEMA death camp set up, concentration camp set up. You see, he has all these things set up. That's why he got the 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 um the V, which is going to lead to the C, you know, those that take that, that's, that's going to lead to your death. You know, like the brother Chaco Don did a lesson like that a minute ago, you see. So everything's, you know, the stage is set, you know. All the chess pieces are in place, man. And ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is in full control. You see? Because when Esau come down Great Wrath, two-thirds is done, you know? And, you know, so you got some of the elect that will be martyrs, but they're going to get raised from the dead. There's no such thing as death if you, if you believe in Yahweh Shai, man. So that's why you have nothing to be afraid of when Esau come down with this Great Wrath. Now, I'm going to read this right fast because I seen it on the screen. The thumbnail I chose was this picture I searched up, you know, FEMA death camps and stuff like that. And they're going to use, you know, large buildings like the Walmart, you know, they're going to use stadiums, you know, they're going to use schools, you know, they're going to use all type of stuff, prisons, all type of stuff, man, you know, and they're going to change them to concentration camps. You see, that's why, you know, people broke down the name, um, broke down the, um, the, uh, the word Walmart, you know, take the, the wall, W-A-L, turn it around as law, you take the mark, that's mark, as add the I-A-L, Martial Law, you know what I'm saying? Cause they're gonna be using these Walmart um superstores and stuff like that, BJs and Costco's, and they're gonna be changing them to um concentration camps, man. Right? But I looked this up very fast, and I'm gonna try to make this lesson straight to the point. Got a couple precepts lined up. But when you search up Jade Helm, what you see on the screen right there, Jade Helm, master the human domain. Domain goes to what? Control. It goes into power. You know what I'm saying? It goes into um um dominion. Basically, they want to dominate. Now, let me read this very fast. So the Jade Helm 15 conspiracy theories were based on the Jade Helm 15. And a lot of things that was once conspiracy theories, considered conspiracy theories, came out to be fact. You know, like the whole Je Jeffrey Epstein, that once was a conspiracy theory. Now it's fact, you know. So let's read this again. The Jade Helm 15 conspiracy theories were based on the Jade Helm 15 United States military training exercise, which took place in multiple United States United States states, right? The U.S. states, right? Between July 15th and September 15th, 2015. The exercise, which involved 1,200 personnel from four of the five branches of the U.S. military, was designed to train soldiers in skills needed to operate in overseas combat environments, including maneuvering through civilian populations. The announcements of these training exercises raised concerns and generated conspiracy theories that the exercise was a hostile military takeover. What? Martial law. You see? Martial law, man. You know, which, what Esau got the, the saying, don't, never, don't, ever, don't ever let a good crisis go to waste. And they're going to use this crisis to usher in chaos. You know, that's why everything you know, that's been happening lately been leading to what? Chaotic times. Gas prices going up. was going to lead to the food prices going up. You know, all these Black Lives Matter protests, stuff like that. Police killing Jakes and stuff like that, rousing Jakes up. You see, once there's a real food shortage, Jakes going to start looting and rioting, you know, and stealing, you know, all of that. And that's going to be what? That's chaos. That's chaotic. Esau, so he could, he could, you know, uh, it'll be more than cyber attacks. He going to knock down an EMP attack, you see? And then there'll be nothing but chaos out here. Then they're going to bring what? That order. And I was tatted on George Floyd's test. I'm, I'm George Floyd's chest, Slakia. That was tatted on his chest, man. Order ab kale. So he's a part of Esau's agenda, man. Whether that man is dead or alive, or whether he even fucking exists, he had that on his, he had that on his chest, man. You see? So, uh, because, you know, they could fabricate names. You know, his name probably not even George Floyd. Who knows? But that, that's what I mean by that. But that man had that on his chest. Order ab kale. You know, it means order out of chaos. You know? So that what's that order? That's that martial law. That's Esau coming down that great raft to, to set up a military state. You know, it can be military checkpoints. That's in the scripture as well. A man shall desire to go into the city, shall not be able. What's that? Second Arjun 15, and I believe verse uh, 14, if I'm not mistaken, on down. You know? So, let's now let's read uh, a quick precept on what I just mentioned. Right? Let's get Revelation 12, verse 12 now. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devils come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So he about to come down with great wrath because he know he got a short time, man. You see? So they've been doing all these military training exercises 
in civilian populations because they 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 getting ready to um to do a hostile military takeover, you know. So it's another article I got pulled up. <clears throat> One second, y'all, other, and it says redless, blueless, three um three need to know things about FEMA's plans, and I believe last year, twenty twenty, Trump gave this country to FEMA. He declared a national emergency. Was gave everything into the hands of FEMA. You know, so at any given moment, they could, they could declare this, man. You know, martial law, they could declare all of that, you know. So it says, if you've been a prepper for long enough and these people are prepping physically, ain't going to save them. You know, you got to prep spiritually, man. Get your spirit ready for these times is coming. And ultimately, if you're part of the elect, the Lord will deliver you. You know, if you're not part of the elect, the Lord not going to deliver you, man. So you can prep whatever you want. If you're not part of the elect, you ain't making it, you know. So it says, if you've been prep, if you've been a prepper for long enough, You've likely heard numerous stories and conspiracy theories, like I mentioned earlier. A lot of conspiracy theories that was once a theory or conspiracy came up, came up later to be what? Fact. You see? So it says, uh, between aliens, which we know there's no goddamn aliens, man. You know? Inside those UAPs and UFOs, those are the chariots of the Heavenly Father and those angels in those vehicles. And those angels are our Heavenly Brethren. You know? Then it says, terrorist attacks in our own government. These, um, there are tons of tales about possible disastrous outcomes that our world may very well face one day in the future. And, it, and, it, and all this, this will happen, man. You know, terrorist attacks, you know what I'm saying? Government plan, you know, attacks, disastrous things, you know, all this is going to happen. But watch this. Of all these, um, satyrs and theories, one of the most prominent in the prepper community is that, is that of the redless blue list, right? Now it says, Redless Blueless refers to the FEMA camps for the Redless Blueless members. According to um, multiple sources, FEMA has camps set up that Redless and Blueless members will be sent to, to either. Um, sorry, I can read from the top. FEMA has camps set up that Redless and Blueless members will be sent to either for execution or to be treated as the Jews were at the concentration camps during World War II. Now, those Jews are the Amalekites. You know what I'm saying? And we know there was not six million Jews in that time, you know, um, um, in that land over there. So that whole thing was a hoax, you know. And I'm not gonna go too deep into it right now, but in any event, let's read on down, right? The idea, but the idea behind the FEMA list is that the U.S. government and, and economy will essentially collapse, which it will, and an outburst of rebellion and terror will set out throughout our country, chaos, right? Certain people. Are on the on list to be killed and that's the whole full elect man point blame period that's the whole full elect you see others are on the list to be educated you know re-educated in the new ways of the world at that point in time i mean they're gonna be trying to chip people you know um and i said the word but in any event you still gonna take this video down i don't care at this point man you know so it says uh and others will be forced to do whatever the government commands of them you see that's that because you know what did the least say? They want to they want to chip everybody because they'll they'll bring them what full control, you know. And he put this in all types. I can name a lot of TV shows and movies right now that they they show this predict the program and they show this man. And that's Esau on the left hand side doing his self fulfilling prophecy, you know. It's real down though, right? So it says just how this conspiracy gets started and where's the proof to back up these claims? Let's take a look at everything we know so far. How this conspiracy theory start? Now, I want to jump down, right? Get straight to it. You know, when you go into the red list. Let me see. Yup, yup, here we go. So down here, right? I may link this in the description box below, right? But for the sake of time, I'm going to um, um, jump straight down to it. So it says, for people that are on the red list, these individuals who are leaders for patriarch organizations, talk show hosts, ministers, community leaders, etc., you know, and ultimately, this is what the prophets, man, the prophets, you see, the men of the Lord, starting with the elders and apostles on down, like the brother saw in his dream and his vision, you know, of Esau coming down with that great wrath, man, you know, because those are our leaders, the leaders, the future leaders of the nation of Israel, and Lowell and we are as well, the brother's pushing, you know what I'm saying, we got to continue going on, you see, and it says talk show hosts, ministers, community leaders, etc. all of these individuals will be woken up at four o'clock a.m. and forcefully removed from their homes that's all in the scripture i'm gonna get it in a minute right they will then be taken to detention centers at fema to be executed like the brother in the brother's dream the um, military was telling them we're gonna kill you 
you know, we're going to kill you. But guess what? Like Elder Apostle, uh, Elder Apostle Gabar mentioned, you know, in his video lesson and on his commentary to that brother's dream, he mentioned how we should not be afraid of this, man. This should get us excited. Because in these times, man, the Lord will do miraculous things. And whether whether if, if it's your lot to, to be a martyr, who cares? Why? Because there's no such thing as death if you believe in Yahweh Shai, man. You're going to get raised from the dead. Literally raised from the dead. Resurrection means what? Raised from the dead. You know, do you believe in resurrection, man? If you believe, then, you know, you got nothing to fear, man. You see? Scripture say what? Fear not him that can kill the body, but kill, but fear him that, that can kill both soul and body in hell. Slaki for the stuttering. Right, let me talk a little slower, Slaki. But it says, uh, they will be taken to det detention centers at FEMA to be executed two weeks after this place. It's like two weeks after this takes place, the government will enforce martial law. You see, so they're going to try to round the brothers up. You know what I'm saying? Before they enforce the martial law, you know, because they're going to want to um, take out those as a major that's a major threat to the NWO. And they want to just leave the sheeple, you know, that's basically the yellow list people. People that don't know what the hell is going on, don't care to know, don't want to know. You see, but let's read on down. It says, as for people on the blue list, these are people who are followers of people on the red list. Those are the, the, um, the subscribers. Those that like if you the videos Esau, he monetized. He watched everything, man. You know, he know the videos you clicking on and liking. They got algorithms set up. That's why on your news feed, you see elders and apostles videos, brothers videos, because they know that you're liking those type of videos. You click like, you comment on them. You know, you um, write Shalom. You know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh You know, that's why those type of videos pop on your news feed. Now, if you was to change the algorithm and start watching videos of cats and dogs, that's the only thing that'll pop on your news feed. You know, so Esau knows the type of videos you watch. You see? So it says, as for people on the blue list, these are people who are followers of people on the red list. Now, this should not scare you, though. You know, those are subscribers, you know, to the elders and apostles and down to the brothers. You know what I'm saying? And it's different camps where they're teaching the word, you know, and they be all in that red list because we're teaching this word with threats to the NWO. You know, and we all got, you know, people that subscribe to us, follow us, you know, like the videos, comment on the videos. They, they, they monitor all of that. You know, so it says, as for people on the blue list. These are people who are followers of people on the red list and also enemies of the of the new world order of the new order of the ages. Right. Blue list members will be gathered together after martial law is en enacted and sent off to detention centers so that they can be subject to mind control tactics to be allies of the NWO. So they're going to try to they can basically be like, you um, that's what's that scripture. Matter of fact, let's get it. Instead of me, you know, reading the whole thing, I'm going to get scriptures in between, man. So 2nd Edges 16, and yeah, let's start over at 68, right? And it reads, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trotted underfoot. What does that mean? You know, they're going to be trying to use, they're going to be trying to do all type of mind control tactics on you, you know, try to force you to go off. You know, for, try to force you to denounce Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, try to force you to take the chip, you know, all of that, man. They can be doing these things, man. You see? And um, those that consent to them, those that give in, oh, listen, I'm tired of this torture. I'm tired of this. You know what I'm saying? He keeps flashing his light in my face. I keep hearing, you know, drops of, of water f flop on the floor. You know, he keeps tapping his gun. I can't see nothing. You know what I'm saying? Those that consent and can't take, take none of this, you know? They're going to be had in derision and trotted underfoot. The Lord going to put them to death. The Lord going to judge them, man. Because you got to have um, patience in your Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Like I started off the scripture, verse 2nd chapter, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you to prison, that ye may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I'll give thee a crown of life, man. You see? So that crown of life is coming. You got to have faith, man. You see? So like, let me... um. Pull this back up. Something happened to the, the site I was just reading. Which I don't care. It's, it's, of course, Esau is going to try to stop it. All right. Where we at? What the heck? Okay. Let's lock it right. All right. So it says, as for the people. Wait, I read that part already. Okay. So it said, blue list members. I'll read from the top again. Salaki, Asha Allah. Right there with me. So it says, as for people on the blue list, these are people who are followers of people on the red list and also enemies of the NWO. Blue list members will be gathered together after martial law is enacted and sent off to detention centers 
so that they can be subject to mind control tactics to be allies in NWO. And if you're part of the elect, that's going to fail, you know, because the elect not going to, you know, give in. You see, no matter what they got to go through, right? These people will be will supposedly not survive the torture that they, they, that they will face at these camps. And understand this, man. This is Esau. Esau is saying all this. Esau is saying all of this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But we got to remember what? Everything is controlled by Yahweh by Shemel Shah. So don't let this put any fear in your heart, man. Esau could say whatever the hell he wants. Esau, Esau could have a gun in his hands and would shoot you in the goddamn head. You know, and he, he could pull that trigger, but the Lord don't want that bullet to hit you. It's not going to hit you. The Lord can make you with that bullet bounce off your forehead, man. Have faith in Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Don't be afraid of nothing Esau is saying, man. At all. You know, so it says these people will supposedly not suffer the survive the torture that they'll face at these camps. And although there no there's no word as to who's on the blue list, it's generally thought that people of the prepper lifestyle are. Right? And the people, the, the state that's gonna give Esau the most hardest trouble when he's trying to force his under NWO, we like will be like the southern states, like Texas. You know, that's why I believe in 2020. It was a lot of military troops, you know, um, going to Texas, man. Cause they 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 setting shit up. They getting things ready. Now watch this. Lately, there's also a yellow list that exists with the red and the blue list as well. The yellow list is a placement or area for citizens that don't have any idea about the NWO and have no interest in learning anything about it. Yellow list members aren't seen as threats by the government. So mean, meaning what? Those on the blue list and the red and the red list are seen as threats. By the government, by the elites on down, who control this government, you know, the shadow government, the elite, right? So it says, and they will likely be instructed by the government and do whatever they are told. Sheeple, you know? So that's it on the article, man. I'm gonna get some precepts and close out straight to the point, man. So the new world, the new order of the ages, FEMA death camps, because inside these camps, they're gonna be torturing Jake's. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about two third Jake's, wicked Israelites, you know, because the elect, the Lord gonna deliver us, man. We got nothing to fear. The Lord gonna deliver us, man. You know what I'm saying? Have that faith. The Lord going to do miraculous things for us, man. You know, lower than I'm a part of number of the elect. You brothers, listen to any few sisters, man. Don't be afraid, right? So it says, uh, no, it's like, like I was saying, though, FEMA death camps, the red list, blue list, yellow list, be, but being not afraid. So now we're going to go to Matthew 7, right? Then I'm going to go back to 2nd, 16, but I'm going to get this very fast. Matthew 7 and verse 24, and it reads, uh, therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Right? Who's that rock? Yahweh Shai. The proof on that is this scripture right here. Um, one second. Let me get this precept. It's Psalms mm, 18 and 31 is a good one, too. I'll read Psalms 18 and 2. Let me see. Mm, so, mm, man, it's a lot of good ones. I read Psalms 18 and verse 2. The Lord is my rock. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and my fortress, and my deliverer, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. Let's read this, Psalms 27 and 5. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, and the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. You know, and that rock is Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, let's see. All right, that's that's the point on that. So look about to Matthew 5, um, 7 and 24. It says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will like him into a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Meaning, your, your faith is founded upon a solid foundation, which is Yahweh Shai. That's why you need the names as well. Like I mentioned earlier, there's none other name under heaven whereby we must be saved. Other than Yahweh Shai. Man, you got to call him Yahweh Shai. Verse 26. It's like a 25. And the rain descended. And the floods came. And the winds blew. All that is symbolic for what? The destruction coming. Martial law. or hell breaking loose. You know? All these, these, these trying times. What's that scripture? Revelation um, 3 and 10. The hour of temptation, man. You know? So all that come to pass. And beat upon that house. Mean beating upon that individual. Because, you know, our bodies are also likened to houses, temples. You know, Heavenly Father said, um, you are the temple of the Heavenly Father. You see? So, uh, it's another scripture I'm thinking about, but I don't want to butcher it. But let's read on down anyway. And beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. So, that house did not did not fall because it was founded upon a solid foundation, which is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
You see? So that's why you gotta have faith in Yahweh Bashim al Shai. When Esau come down with his great wrath with the military presence and grab brothers up, friend to kill brothers, our, our, our faith not gonna fail us. Why? Because we believe in Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Our faith is found upon a sound foundation, man. Now watch this. This is for the wicked Israelites, you see, two thirds. It says, Verse 26, and everyone that hear these things of mine and doeth them not. Like right now, you got Jakes that's hearing the word, but they're not getting down with it. We're warning you that this is coming. This is a warning. You know, this is coming. Esau about to come down on great wrath, man, upon the entire nation of Israel, man. Not just the elect. Because scriptures, like I've read in um Revelation 12 and 17, the dragon was wroth with the woman. The woman's entire nation of Israel, man. But he wants to make war with the remnant for a seed because we're the main we're the threat of his NWO, man. You see? So it says, and everyone that hear these things of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And that's foolish. You're building your house upon sand. You still want to believe in JC, Cesare Borgier. You know, you want to just call upon Heavenly Father all his titles, but not his name. You know what I'm saying? You want to believe in Allah, Buddha, Shiba, Hindu, all these false gods and idols. You want to be atheists. You know, you want to do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? That's you building your house upon sand. And sand is not, it's not a solid foundation, man. You see, it's like building a sandcastle, man. One little kick, that whole thing is falling. You know, a little rain comes, is, is withering away. You see? So it says, verse, verse 27, it says, And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it, man. So you got to build your house upon a solid foundation, which is your how by Shem Shai. Because this scripture right here about to come to pass, like I read um earlier, in the, um, one of the articles, they're going to be going, basically, be going, they're going to be grabbing people up from the houses, man. That's in the scriptures. You know, let's read it. Second chapter 16 and verse 68. Uh, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered into idols. They're going to try to get brothers to take that chip, all type of stuff, man. And they that consent unto them, so if you give up and you consent unto them, shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Now watch this. I mean, you're going to get destroyed if you, you know, consent it to Esau. So you got to have that faith. That's why your faith got to be built upon that rock, which is Yahweh Shai. Verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection. Insurrection means what? A violent uprising, right? Upon those that fear the Lord. Ultimately, an entire nation Israel, because we are the Heavenly Father's chosen people. But his main his main target is who? The elect of, that, of the nation Israel, right? Verse 71. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. I just read that in the article, man. That's Esau's plans. And that's in the scriptures, man. They're going to try to cast us out of our house. They're going to grab us up four in the morning, three in the morning, whatever time. Because they don't got to be four o'clock on the dot, you know. So don't set your alarm clock for 359 so you can wake up and try to leave your house one minute before they get there. Nah, man. Let, if it happens, let it happen, man. You know, the Lord will guide us to protect us and deliver us at the end of the day. Have faith. You see? So it says what uh, for there shall be in every place and in the next city is a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They should be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste, take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. You know, they're going to grab brothers up, throw them back in them vans, all of that. You know, they, um, then shall they be known who are my chosen. You see, the Lord going to make it known who he's dealing with in that day because he's going to deliver brothers. Have, have, remember this, man. The Lord going to be speaking through brothers, man, condemning Esau, laughing Esau's face when he grab us up, you know? We're going to look at Esau and tell him, you know, you're through, right? You touched the Lord's anointed. You know, you're done. Your kingdom is done and you're done. You're going to save and you're getting exterminated. You're out of here, man. This place is about to go up in flames. America about to get destroyed, you see? And, you, and you're going to die right here, you know? Brothers going to be putting curses on Esau in that day, man, right in their face, you know? <laughs> and listen, man. So then shall it be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as a gold in the fire. The Lord going to try us, man. We got to go through them trials and tribulations. Verse 74. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. From, from the same, right? And his beloved is the elect. Verse 75. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for the heavenly Father is your guide, and the guide of them will keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord power. Right, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquity lift up themselves. So the Lord said, Be not afraid, neither doubt. You know, He's gonna deliver us in these last days. We have nothing to fear, you know, whatsoever. As a matter of fact, let's get this Isaiah 59, and I'm sorry, verse 17. Because when Esau come down with great wrath, man, the, 
once Esau make his move, Yahweh Bashim al going to make his move, man. And he controls Esau's moves, <laughs> you know? So he controls both sides, you know? The right hand and the left hand, man. Remember this. This is the power that we serve, man. You know? And the right hand is, is far, far more. It's not even questionable, man. Far more powerful than the left, man. Remember that. Isaiah 59 and 17. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation, right? Upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay. Fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies. To the islands he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai shall lift up a standard against him. And that standard goes to what? That's spiritual power, man. He can put his spirit upon brothers and they can be doing miraculous things in that time. So listen, man, we got nothing to fear. I'm going to get one more, probably two more. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get everything else I got listed. I got some. I got a list right here. So I'm going to read it. Isaiah 41 and verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Who's the right hand of Yahweh Bashim? Yahweh's righteousness, Yahweh shot. You see? Verse 11, behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed. You know, they're going to be ashamed when they come against this man. You know, they're going to be confounded. Right? It says it right here. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they, shall, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Right? Um, thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as, and as a thing of naught. For I, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob. A worm is defenseless, man. So the Lord will be our defense. He's going to defend us. You see? We need Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, man. You know, the Jake's out there talking about get guns and all of that. Nah, man, what the fuck you going to do with a gun? <laughs> Can't do nothing with that, man. That's, you know, those are toys, man. The Lord can give us powers, spiritual powers, you know? So it says, Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, save the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. That's spiritual power, man. You know? Thou shalt thresh the mountains, which is symbolized what? Governments, you know? And it's what? This that shadow government, the elites on down, you know? We're going to thresh them, man. Beat them small. It says what? And beat them small. And shall make the hills as chaff, you know. So, man, listen, man. The Lord can bless with that with that power. And as a matter of fact, let's get Revelation eleven chapter, man. Right, you saw you got you man. You got another thing coming. You think you're gonna touch the Lord's anointed? Revelation eleven and three, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred three score days clothed in sackcloth. The two witnesses, what? Both kingdoms, southern and northern kingdom. You know, twelve thousand come from each tribe. You know, so that's going to the elect, you know, these are the two olive trees, you know, and the two candlesticks stand before the power of the earth, the two kingdoms, right? Southern Northern kingdom, verse five. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will man the lord give brother spiritual powers man to control the elements you see so as i'm ending off with this one right here and i pray this is an edifying lecture to the point listen man esau your nwo gonna fail the lord unless you set it up to a certain degree but ultimately it's gonna fail you're gonna try to touch the lord's elect some some of them the lord gonna allow you to you know to uh put to death but he gonna raise them right back up you know what i'm saying and um other ones you give spiritual powers man they're gonna be putting you to flight so esau you got another thing coming you know, you're, you're done. You know, your kingdom is through. You know what I'm saying? Nothing you can do about it. It's already written, so it's going to happen, you know? So listen, br listen, brothers out that's, uh, that's out there, man. Listen to this video, man. Keep faith in Yahweh Shemiah and Shah. Esau can't do nothing against his prophecy, man. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. He won't deliver us during this time. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown, man. So... When Esau come down with this great wrath, it's going to make it more clear that this is the end. You know what I'm saying? That Yahweh Shah about to make a second coming. So, listen, brothers, 
Keep faith in Yahweh Shem Shah. We know the new order of the ages, you know, is being established right for very eyes. Esau doing everything he can using this planned demic, you know, to set this thing up. You know, we know he got FEMA death camps set up, concentration camps, quarantine camps, you know, isolation facilities, detention centers, all of this set up, you know, already. The military already, like, you know, on the Soyuz, but they're going to call the mercenary troops and all of that, man. They already got this red list, blue list, and yellow list already set up. They got everyone names on the list. They already know who they who they targeting. You know, they already know who the who the main threat of the NWO. But as it's written, be not afraid, man. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah can deliver us. So I pray this edifying, you know, lesson to the Lord's elect, right? You brothers, you sisters out there that believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. So I want to give Kohalim La Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, Bashim Wadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Mostone. Peace and salutations that Lex got it abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without a message, Shalom.